and welcome to Coda, the Skyrim tale. Here we are, We're finally back at Skyrim. Oh, it's going to be a good time, dear readers. We have got ourselves a new character, a new story, new mods, the whole shebang -a bang that's right, we are going to set off today on a brand new Skyrim adventure. It's been a minute since we've done that. So, let's start with a little bit of backstory, a little bit of explanation of what's going on. We got our brand new character, as I said. This is Malfoil. Here we go, Malfoil. Continuing on with the tradition of using wizard people, dear reader, for our naming of our characters. He's a Nord, born in Skyrim, went to pursue his dreams of being a music teacher in the Imperial City. One day realized, as stated in the trailer, by the way, I highly recommend you watch that if you have not already. But uh, one day realized he was being hunted couldn't find refuge in the Imperial City, so he decided to come back home to Skyrim. But he was caught crossing the border illegally, did not have the uh, proper paperwork that a music teacher should have, their, you know, scholarly, academic license of the arts, if you will. <laughs> but instead of being you know, caught crossing the border and being put on a cart to get beheaded and all that other stuff. Uh, that's that's not the case. Uh, he was sent to prison. As you can see here. And after multiple days in prison, he wanted to get out, but simply couldn't just walk out the front door. That'd just be too easy. There'd be no story. He wished and he wished and he wished. And in, in a dream came a vision of this... Mara, the statue of Mara, that would allow him to live another life. That's the name of Amod. <laughs> and then when he awoke, the statue was here. So before we go over and something from a dream has manifested itself here, before we do that, as always, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy. If you're new to this channel, if you're coming here, welcome. It is Glad to have you here. If you're returning, like I said, Skyrim Adventure. We're back. Back in Skyrim. I've got a new story to tell. Something I've been thinking on for a while. It's just, originally I didn't plan for this to be a Skyrim story. As some of you may or may not know, what I've tried <laughs> to do some writing of stories before. And I thought that's where I'm going to do it. I actually had it you know, pretty well fleshed out. Um, it wasn't going to be like medieval or anything. It was going to be modern, but here we go. We're in Skyrim. Figure why not. We're going to tell Coda here. So also, uh, we're using a lot of mods. A lot. The most I've ever used. A uh, couple I've never ever... Well, by a couple, I mean a lot I haven't used. But the big one is we are using Requiem which is a complete role-playing overhaul of Skyrim and how things work. Um, that'll become apparent as we go on that uh, the main thing when it comes to, say, combat is that the world is de-leveled, meaning that instead of as you progress, you know, certain enemies, you know, they kind of level with you or they are at a certain level and they kind of stay there or they level up and they don't go past a certain point. The whole world is deleveled. So if we were doing, say, the vanilla start, you know, Helgen, Dragon, da 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 we get out of Helgen, you know, Standing Stones, blah, 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 all that fun stuff. But along the way to Riverwood, you know, there's wolves, there's bandits. They could just destroy you, potentially. And, uh, you know, in, in Requiem, I should say. In the normal game, and eh, not so much, but in Requiem, they could just... Now, I don't know all of the ins and outs in Requiem. I've never utilized it before at all. 
So this will be a brand new experience for me. So if you're a, ve a veteran of Requiem, <laughs> go easy on me, okay? <laughs> Again, if you're new, welcome. Glad to have you here. Uh, the mod list itself, I will link it in the description. I'm not linking all... I think it's over 600-something mods. I forget the thing, but I use Wabajack. Uh, similar to what I did, I believe, was when we played a little bit of Oblivion. I utilized Wabajack and installed the Serenity 2 mod list. Looked at it. I said, visually, this looks great. It's got some things that I want, which is to bring in kind of a fresh gameplay experience to Skyrim. And that's what we're going to do. So, anyway. Again, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy. Malfoil. Just kind of quick summary. Malfoil. Born in Skyrim. Went to the Imperial City. Teach the music. <laughs> Found out he was being hunted. Escaped to come back home. Got caught crossing the border. Thrown in prison. Days after days after days. Had a dream. Statue of Mara. Wakes up. There it is. And that's where we're at. So. We're going to... Come over to our statue, Mara. Approach, my child, and choose where your new life shall begin. No. I'm also not going to do the voice of Malfoil through every dialogue choice. <laughs> or salad fingers, as was said in the uh, in the trailer. I'm not going to do his voice the entire time. Sorry. I'm not that invested in role-playing. I'm just interested in telling a story. Of course, I may, you know sprinkle in a few little like cutscenes, so to speak here and there which will have the voice if we do that it, we may not but there will come a point yeah there are probably going to be some anyway um so if he's deciding hey he can live a new life uh, on board a ship probably not owning property that seems to be a bit too uh high class so to speak owning property new member of a guild he wants to at least for now, kind of stay, you know, on the down low. Patron at a local inn. That's what we're going to do. Soldier in the army. He's not much of a fighter. We did get cro caught crossing the border illegally once already. So why would we want to do that again? We do want to escape this cell, but there's a chance we could die on the way out. Let's avoid that. Outlaw in the wilds. Nah, not really our thing. Vigilant, no. Camping in the woods. That could be nice and peaceful. I was shipwrecked off the coast. I don't know why there's an exclamation mark there. I've always not known why, but there we go. Vampire, no. Necromancer, no. Thrall, attacked and left for dead, no. Eric the Slayer's childhood friend, nah. We got our own childhood friends. Eric the Slayer was not one of them. We want to start nice and slow. And I have to reiterate, we are starting nice and slow. So if you were here expecting top shelf combat episode one it's not happening <laughs> in requiem again it's difficult i've tested it a smidgen and can 100 percent say it is rather difficult what we're going to start with is basically doing errands is the best way to put it trying to you know gain a little bit of experience here gain a little bit of money and go from there as far as the type of character uh, at some point I actually want this character to become a bard at some point I would like that doing bards college but we'll get to that that's that's later um, but as far as weaponry I've toyed with the idea of two handed you know like big great sword and a little bit of magic but then I thought about it and for this type of character that th just doesn't quite fit, he's not going to be a sneaky assassin, which is, you know, if you're new, it's kind of the builds I like to go for are sneaky assassins. That's that's not what we're going for. I'm thinking, at least to start off with, probably sword and board of some kind, a little bit of magic, just, you know, him picking up things along the way, kind of just trying to, you know, hey, this little bit of stuff, if I happen to get something, this may work. You know, something like that. So, 
we are patron at a local inn. Which inn are you a patron of? Well, we're going to not only be going back home as far as Skyrim, we're going to our home city, which is Solitude. So we'll be going to the Winking Skeever. Even the lowest among us can rise to greatness. There we go. All right, so we we need to use the empty bed and start our new life and escape this cell. Let's go. There we go. We are going to begin our new life away from being hunted, away from the Imperial City, back in our home. I don't know why we look like we have a disease of some kind. <laughs> don't don't know what that's about. Let me uh, let me figure this out. Time out. Okay, that was that was easy. I thought maybe something in the uh, race menu, you know, like sliders or something, got a little off or whatever. So I just opened the race menu, console commands, of course, and it instantly took care of itself. So cool. So here we are. Winking Skeever. Let me do... Oh, not 1,000. FOV. Set that up real quick. Have a little a little look around, shall we? Stealing. I mean, there's lots of stuff we could be stealing. Some things, um, like if we read, even though it's not like a skill book, it will give us a little... A little bit of XP. So I'm not necessarily going to read read, but we are going to read a lot of books. Get just smidgens of XP to hopefully, hopefully get ourselves, you know, leveled up. I know it can take a while. Oh, that one doesn't have anything. I guess they have to have potentially a little symbol next to it. You know, some stuff trying to figure out. Okay. Not bad. But we also have skills. We have three perks to increase right off the bat. So, like I said, I was thinking potentially sword and board, so one-handed blocking. Maybe some magic. Maybe a few other things like alchemy, which I know... Uh, Requiem fo can focus heavily on being prepared. So having the right resistances, the right, you know, potentially like poisons, you know, stuff like that. So I think alchemy will be something I want to do. Obviously not right now. We just started. Um, what I need to look at, though, is what are we carrying? So we have an iron sword. We have a ruby ring. Okay. I like that it's ruby, you know, solitude. Known for the Imperial Red, of course. Talking about reputation, so there is a reputation system that's built in. Uh, gold has weight. So, if you know me, I like to carry things. Anywho, so we got our iron sword. I suppose that'll be good. So, I think what we'll do is let's look at our one-handed proof fighting technique uh, allow you to swing one-handed weapons and fists with less effort and deal more damage so damage goes up uh, 1.2 times and a minus 50 percent weapon weight penalty that sounds good i also let's say wielding both weapon and magic and can use your weapon to aid in spell casting one handed weapon on the right hand and magic on the left or empty. Okay. So the perk tree does encourage sword, almost a spell sword type of character. That could be interesting. There's a boxing focus if we wanted to really go one handed, but that's not us. Um, I know light armor is now evasion in here. Want to do that. I think light armor. Maybe a little sword, maybe board, maybe a smidge of magic. Maybe. 
So let's do these two. If it's greatly, so our damage will go up. And then I'm going to come on over to Evasion. Uh, much more confident in your evasive movements. Well, your light armor and clothes will now hinder your movements less, and you take less damage from falling. Okay. Those are our three perk points to get us started. Now we're back in here. Now I did mention wanting to run errands. <laughs> That's because there are little miss the missives. I think it's called just called missives. As far as the mercenary you're looking for, you found him. There's no stronger sword on for hire in all Skyrim. Thank you. I think it's called missives is the name of the mod, where it's basically a little notice board where you can do a few different questy do's here and there. But ugh. Just love the way this looks. I hope it translates well to YouTube. Just, I ah, really like the way it looks. Like the glow coming off the death bells. All right. Legs of the Winking Skeever. Loading screens are different as well. Going for that Oblivion look, which is always good. But of course, being heavily loaded, some of the loading screens may take a little bit. So, we were told to find a bed to sleep in, and of course, begin the new life as well. Let's see. Ah, another knight, another lost septum, another tanker downed, and more sorrows drowned. Say, that's catchy. Too bad I'm no bard. Not yet. I could make a fortune. Hope my luck turns soon because staying at these inns won't last me forever. I think I'll take up adventuring to pass the time. Sure beats the misery that follows getting sloshed every night in some tavern. I don't need to remember why I do it anymore. So we got that. And we got find a bed and sleep in. This particular little miscellaneous quest is to choose whether or not to turn on or keep off the survival mode of Requiem and its subsequent mods that are built in. And I'd rather not do that. If I was just doing this on my own, not for YouTube, I'd probably at least give it a shot. Yeah, get on with it. All right, so somewhere around here should be a board for us to look at, but of course, for tradition. Oh, here we go. All right, our missive board. There we go. So we can deliver a letter to Dragon Bridge. One to Raven Rock, a potion to Windhelm. Oh, that's quite a bit of a journey. We can gather some white cap, retrieve heirloom from Steepfall Burrow. That sounds rather dangerous. So I'm going to look at doing the first four, this last one, probably not. So let's go one, two, three, four. All right. Deliver a letter, medium. All right, so we've got common ingredients, so white cap, potion. Uh, clear, da, da, da. And suspicious bards, letter. Okay, so we'll do that. And let's see. Ah, right here. Excellent. Not now. So I'm um, here for the delivery job you posted. <laughs> oh, I thought she, she was saying on this day I go to Sovngarde. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, delivery of the suspicious bards letter to Olda. Let's see where we're going with that map has been updated, which I personally like. I've been wanting to use the paper map for a while. It's just the issue with the paper map that I've been seeing every time I tried to use it was like the little locations, the major cities 
had the regular game's little icon sort of underneath it, so it was getting a doubling kind of look. I was like, ah, man. Ah, so we're going to Dragon Bridge, so we might be able to do you hold two birds, one stone kind of thing, or did I... Let's see. Collect the letter. Oh, and another thing I need to do is inside of the da, 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 Requiem, an atmosphere, I'm going to turn on fast travel because I'd rather not run everywhere. All right, so now what we're going to do is head to Dragon Bridge. And of course, if you know anything happens to happen along the way, any combat, any shenanigans, you'll be sure to see it. Otherwise, we'll see you in Dragon's Bridge. All right, hand over your valuables, or I will gut you like a fish. Well, this is unexpected. Uh. Do I like I, like I have any money? Yes, actually. You look like you are lousy with gold. I am not going to ask again. Why do I have time for this? Never should have come here. Well. That's what I mean. Requiem's tough. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, I quick saved along the way, so let's uh, let's reload, shall we? All right, it looks like we got a different random encounter. It does not look like a a Khajiit assassin thief <laughs> coming up after us. And new animations for third person as well, by the way. Hello. Yes. Oh, okay. All right, sweet. So we got the the peaceful version. Which is nice. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have enough time to draw my weapon block and all of that. That's Requiem. <laughs> but you are also potentially deadlier towards enemies as well. Because of, you know, different ways of, uh, like, how the fighting is you know, different, so certain armors are more susceptible to certain weapons, which is nice. Alright, so, uh, I guess we're here a little early. Let's examine that lock, shall we? Out of lockpicks. Seems very complicated, and you're certain that you would just be wasting your time and lockpicks trying to open it. Lockpicking expertise of at least five is needed to handle locks of this complexity. Our locking expertise is is a zero. Okay. Well, it's early afternoon, so... I guess... Let me just harvest a little bit. And then we can just take ourselves over here for tradition. There we go. But we can come into the tavern. Because another thing is we can't wait while standing. Useful and chop up some that was the guy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was the guy. Uh, buddy. Working hard gives a man reason for drinking hard. Well, that nope. and putting up with a wife like mine. Yeah. Okay, there. She, I thought. I thought it said something about a letter. Huh? I have a letter for you from suspicious bard of solitude. Thank you. Here. This is for you. Sweet. You got 25 septums. Nice. Okay. All right, then. All right. So, I don't, we don't really have much in the way of uh, gold, I don't think. 189. I was thinking maybe we could look at buying a shield. Pick up a few things while we're here. Let's see. 
Oh, we couldn't. We couldn't just steal a shield. Grindstone workbench. Hmm. But let's see. Need something? What you got for sale, buddy? Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Mostly protect myself. All right, so there's a 407 gold shield. <laughs> Let's look at something. We can buy a buckler. Which could be nice. It is a light shield. We can't really afford to get much else. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and buy that buckler. And let's go ahead, get that equipped. And there we go. Looks a little silly just floating there, but we've got something. So, we've delivered one letter successfully, huzzah. So we got collect the potion and the letter. So we're gonna get both of those. Let's look on the map. They're both going to be in solitude, so let's go back to solitude. Try to do... I probably should have done this earlier. Just do our collecting all at once. And then go from there. But, at least... At least we can fast travel. <laughs> Alright, into the aromatics. Should be the potion, I believe. You're a traveler, correct? Have you been to White Run? No. Uh, haven't been to White Run before. Oh well, it was a long shot. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Well, no. Uh, let's see. Here for the delivery job you posted. All right, so we need to deliver that uh, by 20 of last seed. So we got three days up there in the corner. Got three days to deliver that. And now for our next one. I believe it should be up here. Yeah, that one's leaving. All right. Let's keep that compass up for now. Uh, here we go. All right, Temple of the Divines. Pretty straightforward stuff. I'm actually really... <laughs> this is going to sound silly. I'm really enjoying this play style. Reminds me of... Reminds me of old D, D days of your characters just starting really low without much they can do and uh you know just gradually grinding your way upwards i heard the gourmet is hiding out somewhere in skyrim you know fella who wrote that cookbook no don't know anything about the gourmet here for the delivery job you posted of course all right Miri by... Oh, I think that was today. Alright, let's look. That's the potion. Oh, did I, did I gotta change the job selection? No? Deliver... Click. And deliver the letter to Miri. Okay. Now show me on the map. Can't. Interesting. Why is that? Hmm. And a high elf's presence be making people nervous. Interesting. All right. So 
Looks like this person might just be on the run, but I don't have a location for the other one. And yeah, no option. So who's this Miri? Maybe, if I read the letter, Ravenrock, eh? No, I don't. Okay, so we need to look at traveling to Ravenrock. So I need to get myself a carriage and go to Ravenrock immediately. Goodness. It's a lot of traveling. That's okay. Alright, so I'm going to come down here outside the main gate, of course. And we're going to grab a carriage. I'm trying to think of how to do this the most... I mean, we may not be able to make it. It's like same day. This is early afternoon. I don't think we'll be able to make it. What is it? Hmm. So let's come on down here. Because it said it was... Just double check. Oh, 22nd. Okay. 20th and 22nd. Okay. I thought it was something by the 17th. Alright, so... Before we look at hiring a carriage. Obviously, Windhelm. Oh. So we could do potentially both. We deliver this potion, come back to the docks, head over to Raven Rock. Okay. I think that's the play. Need a ride? Yes. Where do you want to go? Let's see. Hmm. There's no Windhelm direct. We can go to the Rift, the Reach, the Pale, Hellmarch, Falkreath, East March. I gotta remember my holds now. <laughs> um, See East March. Okay. I was leaning yes. towards that, to be honest, but. Where do you want to go? East March. Going straight through, or did you want to stop somewhere along the way? Straight. Through ah there ah, ah, I see what they did straight to Windhelm. Climbing back and we'll be off. Okay, I see Ever what they did. Windhelm? Oldest city in Skyrim by some accounts. They say the big old palace there was built by Yisgrimor himself. So you can instead of just choosing a specific city, you can choose different little places in the hold, kind of making a stop somewhere along the way. Got it. Got it. Okay. The stables have been discovered. All right, so. Looks like the potion person is inside of Windhelm. I'm just going to collect some ingredients while we're here. But, ugh. Just, I'm just going to... Let's go. First, oh. First person for that. Skyrim, be pretty. Talk to me. Okay. Turn off that compass for right now. The music. Yes. Yeah, the people that uh, curated this mod list and put it together. The little bits that I've played done a very good job. All right. Let's go in here, deliver our potion, then head to Ravenrock. Hope we don't just get got. We'll drink of her and make glasses. You come here where you're not wanted. You eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the Stormcloaks. 
Don't mind me. We have to take it aside because it's not our fight. Maybe the reason these crazy are in your floor. Alright, should be around here. I think it's got a handle on it. Seems. Or a telecom is confusing. I don't need to bother with that. Leave it to the orcs. Oh. Mm. oh right, that makes sense. Huh? Kind of a messy metal. Hey, anyway. I have a potion for you from Angeline Morard of Solitude. Thank you. Here, this is for you. All right, 15 then. XP. 200 septums. Nice. Okay, sweet. Um I don't know. Everyone says you can do anything. Is the best smith in Skype. Take a look. Yeah. What do you got for sale? That's the main thing. Some mercenary armor. Gauntles. A light shirt. It's 180 armor, that mercenary armor. Hmm. Oh, also, I want to look at value to weight. Got to make sure to turn that on. <laughs> All right, so the class. Increase stamina by 40 points. That would be nice to have. But we only have 480 gold. So for now, I think... I like the way that, that looks. I mean... Instead of fashion souls, we'll be called for Skyrim. Sky fashion? Fashion sky? I mean, it's like, obviously it's fashion souls. If you're playing Guild Wars like I have been lately. It's, you know, fashion wars. Hmm. Well, let's look at this shirt. I mean, that's not too bad. Four hundred and eighty gold, I think I will pick up. Let me look at what I well, no, it's not gonna show at it what I've got equipped, and I think most of the way I've equipped is all like clothing anyway. I have a mail. Nord mail white shirt. I'm gonna play it safe. Do I have enough gold? Oh, that's 938. I was looking at the value to weight. Whoops. Okay, let's go cheap. Uh, I have 480. So I can get some gauntles. That's 282. Plus, uh, that'd be, what, 343 for that. For a few things. Okay. I'll just whether it's armor you need or a new blade. I'll just play it safe. Or who knows, maybe you know we get into some sort of combat or stumble across some sort of chest somewhere. Who knows? Ravenrock, I don't think there's I mean, there's probably not going to be anything of, uh, that I really want to do. All right, so I need to get down to the docks. <laughs> nice. We've added an easy way down instead of me having to potentially jump and go through the whole city. Another thing is stamina management, similar to Dark Souls that I was talking about, is going to be very big. Uh, because swinging the weapon, running, jumping, um, swimming, all consume stamina. And similar to the Souls games, if you're out of stamina, you are probably dead. Unless you get one shot, kind of like what I was, uh, you know, what happened to me earlier. Captain Gallen does the business around here. I'm just a ship's. If you're looking for passage to Solstein, you won't find a finer vessel than the Northern Maiden. Okay. How much will it cost me? I'll give you a fair price. Not many people headed over there these days. I like your fashion. If you ask me, <laughs> I can't blame them. Things 
times what they used to be out there. Okay. So why sail there at all then? They still pay me for supplies and passage. But I can always use the coin. Still interested in heading over there? 250 gold. Okay. Yeah. yourself a ship. We'll cast off immediately. Here we are. Well, here we are. Welcome to Raven. Just be careful here. Things aren't what they used to be. It's looking good. Boom! Making progress. All right. I need to. I don't recognize you, so I'll assume this is your first visit to Raven Rock, Outlander. State your intentions. Um, just looking for work. You've picked one of the worst places in Morrowind to do that, but suit yourself. Okay. Just remember. Raven Rock is sovereign territory of House Redoran. This is Morrowind, not Skyrim. While you're here, you will be expected to abide by our laws. Fair. Any questions? No. Um. Thank you. <laughs> Hail, Jolan. Well met, you even ask. So, we're still on the 17th of Last Seed. So we're delivering our stuff early. Oh, for tradition. Haven't seen him. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention is on our character. Um, I don't think I have any potions, not yet. But we we can see our potions on our belt. Um, we have our like coin and little carrying thing on our back obviously carrying the little buckler on our back as well a couple just little minor minor th things just to enhance the immersion at least for me all right so severin manor got another delivery to make we're basically a courier right now but gotta start somewhere all right, excuse me. Huh? I have a letter for you from uh, Freer of Solitude. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Don't stay away for too long. Fifty septums. This town bores me. Okay. How much longer must we stay in this? So we've done that. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I mean, there's nothing here I really want to try to do. I want to find, of course, some other ways for us to get, uh... Get back to Skyrim, but... Some other things we can do, like if there's, you know, anything we can fight that's low level. That would be nice. But it's like my usual Skyrim thing. It's like, I'll just run into the woods. <laughs> but clearly, that's not the case. I mean, obviously, there's going to be lo low-level stuff, like, around all this. But I kind of want to stick being around Solitude, maybe. Maybe there's some stuff to do over in Dragon Bridge. So I think what I'll do is let's come back over to the stables. I think I'll make my way over near Riverwood. Standing Stone are going to be there. Which, speaking of, something that I read is, or saw in my research is that with Standing Stones, once you choose one of the three main, the Warrior, the Mage, uh, the Thief, you're basically locked into those Standing Stones. So, for example, if I went warrior, which is probably what I'm going to go with, um, you can't choose, say, uh, what what's a thief one? Like, I think it's the serpent. I think. I 
think it's Serpent's one. I forget. I forget the exact ones, but you get the idea. So you, you have to stay within your wheelhouse, so to speak, when it comes to standing stones. Oh, this looks interesting. Shine of Talos. Bring an amulet of Talos, have greater blessings. Warriors fight boldly to end terms of war are exalted. Interesting, that's new, that's different. I mean, this being here is obviously new, but the little effect of the Shrine of Talos, that's new as well. All right, so let's come on over. My carriage is the safest way to travel. Sure it is, I like to hire it. Where do you want to go? I would like to go to Whiterun. Going straight through, or did you want to stop somewhere along the way? Can you take me to Riverwood? You can. Sweet. Climbing back, and we'll be off. I like that. Okay. Uh, first thing, get a little bit of mountain flower while we're here. All right. Have you ever met one of these cats? Khajiit, I think they <laughs> call themselves. I hear there's whole countries full of them down south. South. I kind of want to come here because, not because I want to start like the main story or anything like that. Definitely don't. But I do want to kind of be in a place that's, you know, a little bit lower level for right now. Maybe find a little bit of light work to do. Like, there's the wolf that's around here. So hold on. Boom. We have a lantern. Start with it. It's equipable. It's on our belt. All right. I want to turn this on. So there we go. We got this. Let's see if I were to come up this way. Wolf. There should be a wolf. I think it's just one, or maybe two. It's been a minute. <laughs> Should be around here somewhere, right? And enemies will react a bit more naturally too, so animals, if you injure them too much, may run away. Uh, there we go. Come on, I'm blocking, I'm ready. It took a little bit of a hit. Oh. Yeah, we definitely can't face tank everything. But come back here. I want my XP. Should have tried to time that better. See. Oh. Ah. Uh, oh. My weapon. Oh, no. I guess I got damaged. Oh, no. Quick. What happened to our shield? Did it just break? I don't have anything that can restore... Restore my health or my stamina. Sheesh. Saving. I did a quick save there. Our magic somehow is low. What? What's the effect? Something's happening. No. Hardier in battle. It's frost taking or salt lightning damage inflicted by a quarter. Reputation is currently unknown. Shouts, which we don't know anything. It's frost and shock. Okay. That heartbeat, I would basically believe that's because of our health being so low. Okay, let's take all of that. Goodness. Yeah, I guess our buckler just broke. 
we need to get like hardier equipment. I mean, obviously we'll get there, but this is Requiem. <laughs> this is the experience that I wanted. All right, stamina is slowly regenerating, but oh, what? I'm gonna sprint. The sprint animation and the speed don't quite line up. I bet it's something in the in the water. Nope. Terrain is my friend. The terrain is my friend. Hoop. Oh no. There were just the two. <laughs> Where did that one come from? Goodness. Okay. Requiem. Let's get back to it. All right. It's we're basically like right after the battle. I'm going to try to quickly, as quick as I can right now, make my way over into Riverwood proper. You're that visitor been poking around. You could say so. I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thank you. <laughs> Did you hear me? Okay. I guess you don't have potatoes in your That's not our room. Delphine being Delphine. All right. So this is our room. 828. Let's sleep a solid 12 hours. Okay, we awaken from days, basically glance around, find a water skin laying beside you. Notice the chill in the air, blah, 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 grumble the belly. Do you want to continue down this path? No, I do not. That didn't restore our health. All right, we're gonna need to, let's see. Uh, making you feel 40 points healthier for 300 second impairs Coordination and focus, slowing the regeneration of stamina. All right, I'm just gonna. Get, there we go. See how the magica. All right. <laughs> like the little bubble effect. <laughs> Great War. Wait, who's that read or written by? Oh, I saw the legate and I thought it said Lucian. I was like, hey, buddy. We're a little drunk. <laughs> the blur effect that is happening is from our <laughs> little drunken stupor. Okay. So since we have the alchemy table, Let's restore health, good. Resist fire, that's always great. Stamina, good. Interesting reaction. Damage maximum health, awesome. Resist fire. Frost, frost. All of the effects. All right, we can make a resist fire potion, which I don't think we'll be needing to use, at least not right now, but could give us some XP. We've discovered Fortify Stamina Regeneration. Sweet. Okay. That's good. Alright, I'm gonna wait for a little bit to get this drunken effect off of us, hopefully. But now I think we're back to our health. Potentially being bad. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a whole new thing. Treasure hunters, you say. 
Uh, the curator, Dragonborn, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the legacy of the Dragonborn. I really want to get some food to get our health back up. My goodness. Stamina, stamina. I don't want to feel healthier. Stamina, stamina. I need to get a potion then, I guess. Oh, goodness. Until next time. Do we res resort to thieving? Give myself a little quick save. I'm gonna try to make my way over uh, over to White Run. <laughs> let me re-equip the buckler and let's head out. Hopefully, avoid any wolves that might be there. See you in a bit. We've made it. Over the hill, just a little bit. Who knows, we might be able to get a couple of hits in on the giant that's up here. And not get hit by the giant that's up here. I'm gonna give myself a little quick save. Gotta be careful navigating this, because I have a feeling fall damage has probably been upped a good amount. Alright. Getting close. I see a giant. I'm gonna give myself another quick save. Right. I'm here to help! Oh. They're doing work on that giant. Oh, and that AOE hurt us. Or that was just our health being really low. No thanks to you. Okay. Giant has an arrow. So that... Goodness. Fight with us and you'll have stories to tell. Yeah, I'm not good. Yeah, I'm not really worth anything in a fight right now. So no thank you. <laughs> I was hoping we could get in there. Get a couple of hits in, but I believe that AoE stunned us a bit. But my idea is to get up here. And if we can get up to Dragon's Reach, potentially Snag a potion? I wonder if Khajiit friends have anything. Take a look. Take a look. Ah. Skuma? It's a lot of effects. Lots of poisons. No restoring health. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, no go there. So, let's try to make our way up. Never thought I would struggle this much in Skyrim to try to, you know, just get just the slightest smidgen of health. Because I'm used to that, you know, health regenerating, which it doesn't appear to be regenerating. I feel there's probably a way to turn that off, but I'm gonna, gonna keep it. I want that extra level, you know, that just little extra level of difficulty. I don't know if we can get in though, because we don't know anything about the dragon attacks. 
but we're not being stopped. Okay, cool. We're in. All right, so we go over to Arcadia's, maybe nab a potion if we really need to. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. So we gotta get something going. I don't think there's gonna be spell books just hanging out. Oh, for, for tradition. What are you doing that? It's tradition. All right, Arcadius. Ooh, fancy. Well, I get. Yeah, let's talk about that. Take a look. Okay. Healing. 45. Try as quickly. Natural regeneration. Alright, I'm just gonna see if that will... Isn't it? Well, all right. So very slowly, our health is going up. So maybe if we sit and just wait, our health will come up a bit. Eleven forty-two. Let's get three hours. Oh, good. We're back at full health. It's much more populated. All right. Well, I suppose what we can do now. How's our. Ah, uh, we're getting there. Let's look at what things we can do around here. Excuse me. All right, I saw the notice board around here. <coughs> Excuse me. We can deliver a letter and a potion to Riverwood. Gather some hanging moss. That sounds pretty easy. All right. So... Relic hunter position, no thanks. Alright. So this we can do. Deliver a potion to Orgnar. Give a holler if you have any questions. I have several elixirs for sale. Here without that delivery job. Of course. Hundred septums, nice. By the seventeenth. Come back any time if you need a remedy. And that was weird. Seventeenth of last seed, even though it's the eighteenth. All right, the other one. Excuse me. Yes. Uh, da 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 da. I hear about the delivery job. Of course. So, Orgnar. Okay. Fast travel to <laughs> Riverwood. <laughs> I can see why they would, by default, have that off, so that way you're obviously forced to deal with whatever is in between. 
but for the sake of a series like this, just want to keep it simple, stupid. Okay. What do you want? Hmm? All right. Let's come on in. Well, and. Orgnar, buddy. Huh? Have a letter for you from Armrit of Whiterun. Thank you. Here, this is for you. 25. All right. Until next time. Now we need to... For Orgnar. Huh? Have a potion. Thank you. Here, this is for Popular you. guy. Boom. So now we're up to 355 gold. Excellent. Okay. So we got our health back. Made a bit more gold. We got to look for hanging moss, which, you know, hopefully that there's not a... Yeah, white cap. Hanging moss doesn't appear to be, you know, a do it by this time. So I can go around looking for that. Let's see. It's mid afternoon. Potentially find some more rest coming up, but I think I'm just going to step out here so I don't have to hear them yapping. All right. Where we go? Ugh. Ugh. Talk to me. There we are. Our buddy Malfoil has had quite the first day. That leg strength, though. But, there we go. I'm going to wrap things up here. Story-wise, not much has happened. You know, we've just gotten to the point of, you know, we're here. We got out. We escaped from the prison. We're just trying trying to make our way. Um, key thing is that if you didn't watch the trailer, again, I highly suggest that you do. Whenever the person that's hunting... Malfoil is around. There's music that he can hear. But no music to be had for now. So, so far, so good. Just a young chap trying to make his way in the lane of Skyrim. And that'll do it for now. So, if you're new here, you like what you see, there's that, this. You can even do this. Or you can do nothing. Speaking of nothing, you can subscribe or not. <laughs> Your call. I don't. I don't do this for the views, for the money, or anything like that. This is just something that is done for fun. Speaking of that, as always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. We'll see you guys later.